for the outcome. But the second thing is you want to entertain the viewer with your painting. So the more variety you have with your mark making, the more interesting it looks. So by, mm -hmm. by using this, dark some of a medium value and maybe if it's a higher key painting lots of a light value but it can be any combination you just want to avoid that it's third okay, the beach. Yeah. that's super boring so okay so I I decided my friend Marion here scouted out this beautiful thistle usually I go for something where I have a stronger light and shadow but I know that my light is going because we're gonna get rain later contrast of when you squint at this you can see that this is lighter than all that stuff in the background but it also it's such a nice pop of color so I also have contrast in color intensity I have a lot of dull greens back there and those darks those browns and then I have I have that uh, pop of color in my favorite color. <laughs> well, pink and red. That's why I have a red easel. So I'm gonna do a quick sketch because. <laughs> different this looks there the other green I'm mixing has to have a little it's very bright I think I still have to do a little bit of dulling things to look at you know experiment with how you hold it you know I can hold this with the white side up or I can you know use the skinny end Yay! 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 